Hey, how's it going? So in today's video, I am going to be giving my van a tattoo. Um, this tattoo is very close to my heart because it was also my first tattoo, which is right here. It's a matching tattoo with a friend that I got a few years ago. Never really made a stencil or even like painted on a car or a van or anything, but I thought, why not? I'm just having fun. I can always cover it up later. And I needed to buy some spray paint anyways for other projects with it. So I bought a can of dark blue paint. And here's the stencil, which I'll be going through a little bit of a time lapse on how I created this. I've never made a stencil before, and there's definitely things that I would change if I were to try this again. Honestly, I don't even know if I would use a stencil because it's a rough process, you'll see. But maybe next time I'll just straight up paint right onto the van and then seal it with some sort of sealer. Nothing ever goes as completely expected. You know how it is. I also just doodled a bunch of different ideas of little symbols and little tattoos that I want to get myself personally, but a lot of these little symbols really resonate with me. So thanks for watching and enjoy. This was the point where I was kind of feeling uncertain about the stencil. It would prevent any of the dripping or the excess spray that I knew spray paint would do just because it's so difficult to deal with sometimes, very liquidous. So I decided to just trace out the stencil and then surround it with liquid latex so that I could just get some clean edges or at least um, not have any splatters anywhere. So I used this liquid latex a lot, it's basically my best friend. After taking off the liquid latex, I decided to contour the shape with some uh, shimmery white paint that I had. But anyways, this is how it turned out and I think it is stunning. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye. Thank you.